Yeah, I think for us as the family, it was a very, very big blow. I mean, honestly speaking, seriously, this bias here, it's very, it's very, very heartbreaking for us. I mean, uh, but this whole thing, I'm blaming our, uh, our justice system. Seriously, the first investigator who had the case, he did not do his job properly. I mean, I'm not blaming the magistrate. I mean, he just did his job. But if you don't have sufficient evidence to prove, obviously. And, but, yeah, that, I mean, that's it. But for us, we will get through it. We will definitely get through it. We are planning to appeal. Hopefully, if the state doesn't appeal first, we will definitely appeal so that we can proceed with this. We cannot leave it like that. What if it happens to the fellow Namibian child? What, what, what if it happened to that? I mean, it gives everybody the right now to kill left, right and center and say it's an accident and at the end of the day, you have been discharged. So we are not going to leave this story there. I feel very bad. I mean, nobody came and to... But to say the Alit same was Bluetooth Dutter, that's what they always do. So, but for us it's very sad. No, none of them, no one of them came even to say that we are sorry or what. What does it uh, tell you? It means that they are unremorseful, they don't care. So for them now they are rejoicing, their, their kids have been found not guilty on, on the murder case, but now on the obstruction of justice. What is the maximum sentence? That's the question. So meaning these kids are going in and out three years, then they are all out on the streets again. Yeah, I mean, it, for me it's a, it's a pity that... So.